that money was the root of all evil? There's your proof. We are searching for the What's poppin' y'all? It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a daytime freaking what? What are we doing? We're doing a daytime summer look and this is a collab video with Megan and I will link her channel down below in the description for you guys. She's so awesome and she's very well versed. She's like into books and all other stuff so you might just find a lot of things on her channel that you're interested in she just has a lot of things going on, on her channel so make sure you check her out leave a comment down below on her video as soon as you finish watching this video and let her know that i sent you to her channel um other than that we're just going to go ahead and jump right in okay so i'm going to start off by priming my eye with the um, better skin concealer this is by maybelline really And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Okay, so once that's blended out, I'm going to just take my Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder and I'm going to set my eyelids. So we're going to be going into the Multi Brushes Jaclyn Hill Palette. This color right here, we're going to be putting this um, um, onto our crease area as a transition shade. And I'm going to be using an e.l.f. blending brush to do this. Okay, now once we've laid that transition color down, we're going to go in with um, a crease color just to kind of define the crease. We're going to be going back into the same palette and taking um, this color and this color just mixing those two together and applying that to the crease now once you've got that color in the crease just go ahead and take your blending brush and then blend everything together as far as the um, transition shade and the shade we just put on we're going to just blend those together so that they're more seamless and there aren't any harsh lines I just picked up some of that transition color and just um, reapplying that and blending it with the crease color just because it kind of got lost um, with the crease color. Okay, so now that we've got this blended, we're just going to kind of bring some more definition to the eyes and we're going to take, take this color and, I'm sorry, we're going to take this color and this color and mix those two together and apply those to the outer V of the eyelid. And then we're just going to go back in with our blending brush and just blend out the edges. Now once that's blended, we're going to go ahead and apply this orange um, shimmery shade out of the same palette um, onto our lid with a flat eyeshadow brush. And I am going to spray my brush with my setting spray. And we're just going to press this. Um, onto the lid. Now once the lid shade is on, we're going to just take the um, blending brush again and just blend out any harsh edges between the outer V color and the lid color as well as around the crease area. Just want to make sure that everything kind of has a gradient effect and blends really well into one another. And now we're going to take um, this gold shade and this kind of champagne shade, mix those together and we're going to apply this onto our brow bone as a brow bone highlight. It looks kind of harsh, but what we're going to do next is we're going to just take our blending brush and blend in between the transition shade and the brow bone highlight. Now I'm just going to apply my lashes. As you can see, this lash is already on. I believe these are Kara lashes. 
I'm not sure in what style they are, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it um, off camera because I have a really hard time applying lashes still. So um, I'll be right back as soon as I finish applying my lashes. Okay, so now I have my lashes on. I'm just going to go in with this color. Can you see? Can you see the picture? This color. Um, it's the same color that we used in our crease. I'm gonna take that along the bottom lash line of both eyes because I didn't use this eye. And I'm also gonna take the orange shade that we used as transition color and take that kind of underneath the um, purplish color that we put on the um, bottom lash line. Now I'm just going to be applying mascara. I'm going to be taking the Elf Volumizing and Defining Mascara and I'm going to be applying this to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so now that the eyes are pretty much done, we're going to go ahead and move on to finish the face. As you guys can see over here, I did already apply foundation, highlight, and cream contour. And now I'm just going to go ahead and bronze, blush, highlight, and um, do my lips. For bronzer slash contour, powder contour, I'm going to be using my Ruby Fixes Mineral Powder. I'm just going to take my really big fan brush and apply my contour with that. I did do my nose contour um, off camera, which I use the same color that I used to bronze contour or whatever. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to blush. So I'm going back to my old Ulta palette. I know I haven't used this in a while. I haven't actually been using blushes during the summer, but um, I thought, why not? So I'm going to just mix these two here and just lightly dust these on the apples of my cheeks. I wanted to clean up my contour, so I'm just going to take my Airstone powder on this e.l.f. Um, contour brush. I'm just going to clean up my contour. And we're not going to let this sit for long at all. I'm going to go ahead and dust it off now. Okay, now, so for highlight, I'm going to be using my Fun Mall Mineral Palette. Can you see, guys? I, ju I just got this. So now for lips, I feel like since this is a daytime um, summer look, I personally would just go for a nude lip and you guys are probably like annoyed by now because in the past few tutorials I've just been doing nude lips but I just really have been in love with the nude lip. So that's what I'm going to do today. If you guys have any other lip suggestions for future tutorials, please go ahead and leave those down in the comment section and I'll try my best to switch it up a little bit for you guys. I'm going to be using what I've been using. I'm going to be using this brown pencil to line my lips, and I'm also going to be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi, as always. Okay, so this is a new lip, but I think I actually do want to switch it up, so I'm going to try something else. I'm going to take NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. This actually is a cute little lip to go with this look. 
So, now everything's done, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to be using my Maybelline uh, Master Fix Study Spray. So this is the finish. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have not subscribed already, click the subscribe button, okay? I mean, there's nothing to lose. Hit that subscribe button. Also, click the little bell next to it so that you can be alerted each time that I upload a video and nothing is upload for me. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. See the wings come and see the gold